everyone talking about Womo Aqua by Valentino. The notes in this are mandarin orange, tomato, sage, patchouli, iris, and leather, at least according to Fragranica, I think. Uh, with this kind of mishmash of notes, it really doesn't look like it would be wearable on paper, but it actually is surprisingly cohesive. The tomato-like accord adds this like balsamic zing to it, but not in a way that it smells gross or bizarre or anything like that, surprisingly. The iris is very present from the beginning, and the leather creeps in pretty early on too. My biggest concern before trying it was just about my taste, actually not even the weirdness, but the fact that like sage and patchouli, not my favorite notes by any means, both can kind of be sharp in different ways. And yeah, that combination was like, uh, to me. But I think the patchouli here has very little presence and the sage blends really well with the other notes. So yeah, that ended up working out even for me who does not like those notes. Overall, it's very like green, aromatic, and iris-ish. Despite having several dark notes, it still smells uplifting and fresh overall. Unique, but not to the level you might expect from some of the notes, which could be a good or bad thing. I mean, if you were looking for like, oh, this is gonna be so unique. I mean, designers aren't the best place to go for that in general. Uh, but on the other hand, yes, it's very wearable. So, and it is still unique. It's just not like, whoa, that's crazy. Just a nice everyday scent, low to moderate longevity and projection. Masculine, it could be unisex though. It's not like hyper masculine. And uh, yeah, this one, I'll link in the description where you can get a sample or decant. I think it's kind of hard to find bottles or at least they're more like on eBay or something like that uh, if you end up wanting one.